I'm Marsha from yesyesmarsha.com networking that's actually fun. And this is another instalment of Ask Yes Yes Marsh. I have a question from you, from one of you. I'm going to answer it. Um, so the question, which I have on a piece of paper. I don't have an iPad. This is my phone. It's a flip phone. Uh, apparently Rihanna has one right now. <laughs> I'm sure Rihanna like has a person following her who has Google Maps on their phone. Anyway. The question is, uh, hi Marsha, I am a woman in a very male dominated industry. When all the guys get to manfully shake hands at the end of a meeting, I constantly have to succumb to a hug and a kiss. I dislike it intensely, but even when I purposefully stand back and hold out a hand for a handshake, I get something akin to a lunge. Any idea? on how to deal with this. Dude, I feel you. Uh, I worked for many years in the music and radio industries and there were so many times where I would be getting kissed and I would feel like, you're not kissing Steve, are you, Dan? You're not kissing Jonathan. Um, and I didn't do anything about it then a lot of the time, but I think now that I would, uh, partly because I know how to do something better and because uh, I feel that I should. I'm gonna explain this. Okay, so if you've watched the video on how to get out of an awkward conversation, which I'll link to right there if you haven't. Um, what I talk about in that is that people will always follow your physicality. So what I would suggest is to basically do what you've been doing but a little bit more firmly. So when they go to hug you, stick your hand out and try and like get hold of their hand and make your elbow rock hard so that if they were to move towards you even a fraction, they would feel that resistance. And often on a subconscious level, because people will always follow your physical cues, they'll be like, oh, I guess we're just shaking hands but even if they do step forward for a hug I would just step back and let them they may look a little bit foolish it may create like a weird situation but the thing to do is just to move on and act like it's the most normal thing in the world you know if it's funny just be like ah, and then turn to the next person and talk to them because people will only feel awkward if you kind of stay in that awkward moment but if you behave like this is totally normal this kind of thing happens all the time they will believe your physical cues even if inside you're kind of quaking the other thing that I would say is I do feel like it's important to do this and it's important to push through those first few awkward times. And I have to say, from experience with this kind of thing, it gets less awkward. One of the things with me is I'm now like super touchy-feely. I also ask very personal questions all of the time. I've written about that as well. Um, and the first few times you do it, it's like an awkward moment. And even if you're confident on the outside, inside you're thinking, oh my God, this is terrible. But once you start to realize that people won't dwell in those awkward moments if you don't, then you just will get a lot more comfortable and confident with it. So push through those first few awkward times. I also just think that it's important to do generally to be like, hey guys, let's all treat each other equally. Now it's gonna be hard. Some people are gonna be weird about it because we've had hundreds and thousands of uh, years of conditioning that, you know, women are supposed to be like this and men are supposed to be like this. But I do think that it's important to stand up for ourselves in these moments. And um, I can't, in articulate this as well as another lady can who wrote one of my favorite blogs of all time. The website is tryingtobegood.com and the question was, is it just me or is it the patriarchy? And it's a really brilliant, particularly if you're the kind of person who has resistance to people being like, F you patriarchy, go feminism or whatever. Um, I feel like you'll really enjoy this article and you'll be like, oh, I get it now. So I'm gonna link to that below. So in short, be very physically confident of just doing the handshaking movement. If they go in for a hug, step back and let them lunge. Let it be awkward, but just smile warmly, act as if it's the most normal thing in the world, and then move on as quickly as you can, and they will too. And I think it's worth standing up for this and pushing through the first few awkward times. So, over to you, what do you think? Have you ever dealt with this situation? How do you deal with it? Do you think it's worth standing up every single time? I would love to know over in the comments at yesyesmarsha.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then pop over to YouTube and like it. You could also share it if you know anyone who's had this situation, that would be awesome. You can subscribe on YouTube as well. And if you want to get more tips and secrets plus stories that I won't put on the internet, then come over and join the Yes Yes Marsha mailer family over at yesyesmarsha.com. I'm Marsha from yesyesmarsha.com and I'll see you there.